Hey everyone, I'm back once again with a book review. And uh, I know it's been a bit since my last book review, or since my last video in general, but uh, I just took a little break from reading uh, horror novels and I was reading some fantasy ones. But I'm back, and uh, today I'm going to be reviewing Night of the Crabs by Guy N. Smith. It was originally published in 1976. But this is a 2017 edition, so it just happens to have the same cover from the original edition. Um, i just say a little bit about Guy and Smith. I, here's the thing, I'm sure you can tell from the title on the cover what this book's about, but yeah, Guy and Smith, he made a lot of, um, like, when nature attacks sort of novels. Like, he made one about killer locusts, you know, killer alligators, one about caracal, or snakes too. And a bunch of other animals. Anyways, um, he made a lot of types of different books, but his main thing was the very cheesy, uh, I guess you say B movie books. That sort of thing. Because if you just look at his like his uh, you know, resume, if you will, like all the books he made, yeah, a lot of them they definitely sound pretty cheesy. Anyways, that being said, uh. I guess I'll just read the synopsis on the back. All right. The Welsh coast basks in summer tranquility. Then the drownings begin. But not until the monstrous crustaceans crawl ashore, the pincers poised for destruction, does the world understand the threat it faces. And then uh, here, this is not part of the synopsis, it's more of, I guess, the tag oh i guess like a little tagline sort of thing we just said a seafood cocktail for the strongest stomachs um yeah the synopsis was pretty vague so i'm just going to go into a little bit more detail about it. but our main characters in the book is cliff davenport he um he's a marine biologist and he goes he goes to the uh, the welsh coast to look for his uh, nephew and his nephew's fiance because they went missing. And while looking for them, he couldn't help but notice that on the beach there were some in interesting like marks on them, very similar to where a crab might leave. If uh, although these you know marks seem to be very um, unusual because of the size. Like he's like saying like oh this doesn't look like any crab trails I've seen because they're way too big. Then eventually he meets up with a lady named Pat, um, and they seem like they get along. You know they hit it off really well, fairly quickly I might add, but I'll get into more of that later. Um. So, oh yeah, yeah they they meet up and they talk about bed and apparently well she's uh like. Well, basically, I, I, I'm trying to be very short here, but yeah, basically, they're trying to find proof about these giant crabs, and so they can, like, warn the military about it. And, uh, well, soon after that, I guess the crabs make themselves kind of public. And then they're helping the military, trying to defeat these crabs, and prevent them from, like, just going, you know, just, like, totally insane terrorizing the country, isn't it? Um... That's basically it. So yeah, they just they're just trying to uh, save the day and help the military, you know, kill these crabs. Um, so I guess now I just get into my opinion about this book. And my opinion is that um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, like it's just again, like I said before, it's basically a B movie, but a book. You know, um, it's just about killer crabs killing and eating people, and they happen to be really, really huge. Um, uh, what else? Also, it's a very, well, it's a very easy read. I guess you can, you know, uh, it's like not taxing on the brain. And it's quite just enjoyable. If you just want to read something quick, that's fun. And, uh, it does have, I guess, a lot of things you expect from a kind of like B-movie sort of thing. Although this is actually a bit of a negative thing. I'll get into that. Is that the characters are a bit, um, flat. They're not really, uh, the most developed, like, developed you know, uh, people ever, ever written. Um, yeah, 
it's not like the bad per se. It's not like they're the you know poorly made. They're just very you know two dimensional, and also the fact that I mean this is very this is very um, common in a lot of these kind of books, but like when Cliff and Pat soon after they meet, it seems like right after they meet they get along really well, and then a couple pages later they're having sex. That's what then, and they have sex quite a few times in this book. So. It's kind of like what I said here, like in the tradition of the rats. Sorry about the glue. They just said like, you know, um, they mentioned the rats. And I feel like that's a very good comparison because this book does have a lot of similarities between, um, you know, the rats by James Herbert. And by that, it's because like you got like, you know, it's like a, a type of animal, whoever, uh, you know, killing and eating people. It takes place in the UK and also... Um, it's quite gra gory and also has, you know, quite a bit of sex. So, yeah, it seems very consistent with a lot of James Herbert's uh, work. Um, what else? Also, yeah, as the book goes on, it just escalates and escalates. And, you know, it gets pretty, like, oh, like, yeah, it gets pretty fun. And uh, with, I guess, the chaos that's happening that these crabs are causing. Uh, I guess it's kind of it, really. Like I said, this is yeah, this is gonna be kind of a short video just because uh, this book is so simplistic. You know, it's just about giant killer crabs going on a rampage, and it's you know, it's an enjoyable short read. It's only about like a hundred forty, let's see, hundred forty four pages. I'm just sorry, hundred forty three. That's time. Um. So you know, like you can easily read this in like a sitting or two. Um. I guess it's, you know, I guess I'll just sort of wrap these up. So yeah, highly recommended. Uh, I guess, yeah, I'll give it like a four out of five because of uh, when it comes to a fun factor. But that being said, yeah, this is definitely not like a masterpiece of uh, of literature, but, you know, I don't think it was trying to be. Like, I'm pretty sure the guy in Smith wasn't trying that. It was just, again, a very cheesy, you know, um, like, you know, nature attacks kind of thing. Anyways, I'm going to wrap things up. So, you know, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.